Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Good morning everybody, today is Vlogmas day two. Um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. I absolutely loved those two ingredient brownies like I was shocked on how well it turned out I'll be honest I really didn't have high hopes because I was like only two ingredients how can this possibly taste like brownies but it was really 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 good so highly recommend if you haven't seen yesterday's video make sure that you go back and watch it I will be starting a vlogmas playlist as well so if there's any videos along the whole month of December that you have missed you can just resort back to my playlist which is labeled vlogmas 2021 so yeah I'm excited I absolutely love doing vlogmas it's a lot of work I must say but I do enjoy it so Today I'm actually going to town. I have an appointment um, in town at four o'clock today. I did a little bit of work today and uh, this morning and had a shower and got dressed. Haven't had anything to eat or drink yet, so I am going to be making coffee. Um, and then yeah, I have that appointment at four o'clock. Jimmy also finally, finally, Jimmy has a haircut appointment today at 4.45. So I'm thinking we might go out for supper afterwards. It has been probably close to two months since we've even gone out for supper or literally have done anything together other than hunting together. Um, so I think that we're gonna go out for supper tonight. So I don't think I'm gonna plan a supper. Um, but yeah, I will bring you along with us for that and you'll get to see Jimmy. Jimmy is tired as you guys would have seen in yesterday's video. Um, but I will bring you guys along with us for supper if that's what we end up doing and I will show you I will, I'll just take you along the day with me I have a few errands like I said to go and do in town I'm gonna actually stop at Marshall's today and I might go to Winners which is like a TJ Maxx in the States because they'll probably having their Christmas stuff out I don't need anything new I haven't even decorated our house yet I plan on doing that sometime this week but I might wanna get like a few baking things like the cupcake liners and just maybe some Christmas things for Vlogmas cause I will be doing a lot of baking and a lot of recipes during this month. So join me today as we kind of take a scroll through Marshall's and Winners if I end up going there as well and maybe even HomeSense, we'll see. We'll see how much time we have. But first I'm gonna have some coffee so let's get started on that. wanted to give a couple shout outs for those who have actually one of them bought me a coffee so um, she has her own YouTube channel here on YouTube and her YouTube channel is journey with Maha I will have it linked in the description so thank you so much for buying a coffee I love that you support my channel you're always leaving me comments and I really really appreciate it so thank you so much and also wanted to welcome Gina Gina has signed up for my protein sparing modified fast monthly newsletter so welcome Gina make sure you check your inbox I have emailed your December monthly newsletter so welcome to the club 
All right, I am also going to be taking my electrolytes. I always usually take some water or with my electrolytes lately into town with me. So I had mentioned this um, therm, it's not a thermos. <laughs> It's a water bottle it holds 32 ounces. I got it off of Amazon. I will have it linked in my Amazon favorites is if anybody is interested, but it is amazing. I love that it's like so big as well too. It's well insulated and it doesn't leak. Once I get all my stuff in here, I will show you, but that's an important thing because it doesn't fit in my um, cup holder. So I have to put it like on my, my passenger seat. Um, so it's important that when it doesn't leak and let's be honest, I just get so upset if something leaks anyways and like period. So um, the good thing about this thing is that it doesn't leak. So I fill it with water. I fill it with a little bit of ice and it just has like a, a straw type thing to open it. And then once you close it, it does not leak. Like it is amazing. It doesn't like leak, dribble or anything. So I will have this linked in my description, but let's head to town and get some stuff done. Just stopped at Walmart quick. I just need to pick up a couple things here and then I'm gonna get a couple groceries because, um, well, they're not really groceries, they're more of the seasonings because we are going to be making quite a bit of sausage this year. We actually ground a whole entire deer, one of Jimmy's deer, into ground and we are gonna be making sausage out of the whole entire deer and we're gonna do that probably this weekend when we finish butchering everything else. So I need to just get a couple seasonings in order to make that sausage and I need to pick up some casings as well too. But I literally have a couple things to get here at Walmart and then we'll be on to our next stop. All right, so I just stopped by the, um, it's kind of like a butcher shop is what it is. They sell like um, casings and they'll butcher your, your deer or whatever for you and they don't have any casings there they have one they have another store which is about like 20 minutes outside of town not towards where we live <clears throat> it's actually going the opposite way and i don't think i'm gonna make it out there today <sighs> so i'll have to put that on my list to get maybe this weekend if they're open on saturday but it was so funny in there i wanted to mention this um I, it was very busy in there uh, and there was a couple there kind of an older couple and they were looking for elk it was so funny and I was like because I've never been in that scenario because we've always had our own venison and it's just amazing to me that people will go in the store and pay it's an outrageous amount as well for elk and I just found that funny because I was thinking here they are asking for elk like an elk roast or elk steaks or even ground elk and here we live off of that all year round. <laughs> so I thought I just wanted to mention that story because it boggles my mind because you do just get complacent right like that to us that's normal we've been eating like this for 10 years um, that is why we hunt and we have enough meat for the year. I also had a funny story because Jenna lives in Banff, Alberta, which is in the Rocky Mountains. It is a huge, I'm sure everybody has heard of Banff. It's, it is, it's a huge tourist place here in Southern Alberta. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that is where Jenna works. And there is a restaurant there and it's called The Elk. And all they serve there is elk. So they serve like elk steak, elk burgers, um, like elk ribs, like everything in that restaurant is elk. And Jenna said to me, like when I talked to her a couple days, because we are going there next weekend, she says, you know where we should go to eat? We should go to the Elk. Why would we want to go and eat and pay probably like $50 for an Elk steak when we can literally make Elk any day of the week at home? But I guess it's like they serve other things other than Elk apparently as well, but I, I don't think Jimmy's gonna be interested. I don't think that's gonna fly. But I just thought it was funny that, you know, elk is so sought after and people really like will go and pay like $50, $70 for an elk roast. It blows my mind that people would pay that. Like, I don't even like paying, this is why we hunt another reason. I don't even like paying two, $3 a pound for ground beef, let alone to be paying that much for an elk roast is absolutely crazy. So um, I wish that we could share more. I really, really do. But our goal is our family and we do have four kids combined. I just wanted to share that story with you, but now, I am going to head to Marshall's and Home Scent and 
you know, hopefully I don't spend too much money. We'll see what they have for Christmas. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you and me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, oh and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good I just pulled up to Superstore. I'm gonna go and get a few groceries, literally just a couple things like I had mentioned, um, some seasonings, and we need to stock up on some fruit and produce items. But I wanted to quickly show you what I got from HomeSense. I didn't find anything at Marshall's, but I did scoot over to HomeSense and got a couple things. I got, we will be see, seeing Jenna and Cove next weekend. and. Cove is notorious to pull out the stuffing out of her stuffed toys that Jenna gives her. They usually last like about a week. Um, Jenna still buys her toys, but it's just the stuffing she always pulls out of it. Uh, so I did find a little toy that is stuffing free, which I thought was pretty cool. So I got that for Cove to take with us for next week. And then I also got this little toy for Zoe's cat. So like I said, Zoe has a little cat and I thought it was just kind of a cute little um, toy because it's something that I think she would be interested in. So I got her a little cat toy as well. And then I found these adorable coffee cups. So I don't get these all the time, but lately I have been getting them. Um, especially for Jimmy and I, we do have like reusable coffee cups that we will take with us to work, but I thought these were just too adorable. If you look closely, they're like a dog print cup and then they have like a sleeve as well that says Merry and Bright and I thought that would just be so cute for the month of December. So I ended up getting those at HomeSense as well. I got a pack of Christmas cards because there is a few people that I want to send Christmas cards out to and I only have a few from last year left over. I never did stock up. I usually stock up on Boxing Day. So here in Canada, Boxing Day is kind of like, um, I compare it to like Black Friday in the States and Boxing Day is December 26th and it is huge sales. Like people will stand outside at like four in the morning on Boxing Day to get in on all the sales. And that's when they have all their Christmas stuff on sale, like their Christmas wrapping, bows, Christmas cards for like a couple days after Christmas. And I usually stock up on my wrapping paper, my Christmas cards then, but I never did that last year. And I found these, I thought these would be really, really good um, muffin. Like, I don't wanna say they're like a, they're like a wrapper of baking cups. So these are baking cups and I thought that they were nice and big and they were easy to kind of unwrap like a muffin because I do want to do some uh, keto muffins this month as well. And I just really liked the print and they're kind of like a larger baking cup because sometimes I find that the other ones are just too small. So that is all that I got from HomeSense. My total was like $28, which wasn't too, too bad. I call that a win. Anytime that I either go into like Winners, HomeSense or Marshalls, it seems to cost me a little bit, but I'm happy with what I got. Um, I try not to go too crazy because like I said, we don't need very much at all for Christmas decorations. So um, I'm glad I wasn't tempted with that sort of stuff. But I'm going to be going into Superstore now and getting a few groceries. Like I said, just stocking up on produce, bread, milk, all kind of the necessities throughout the week. And I will catch you guys in the next clip.
I am at my four o'clock appointment. I'm a little bit early, but um, this is for my dermatologist appointment. I have mentioned before that I have eczema. I actually had really severe eczema when I was younger. I was covered from head to toe. I mostly have it under control, except when the climate changes, it seems to get worse. And I do need a refill on my salve. And then I do have these, um, they're little green pills. I'm not sure of the name, but they help me when I really get itchy at nighttime and I can't stop scratching. Um, so I am here to get refills on that. And then Jimmy has his haircut, like I had mentioned. And then we will probably head out to something to eat. I told him to text me when he was done, or I will text him if I'm done first, and then we will figure out a place to eat so i will see you guys in the next clip probably with jimmy and wherever we decide to eat all right i am just meeting jimmy here and we decided that we were going out for wings so he is here in the parking lot so let's go in and get some wings hopefully this is his truck <laughs> okay. jimmy did i scare you no Ooh, look at how handsome you look online dating you look different in your picture online i know i'm a little bit shorter yeah that's it <laughs> you're wearing short sleeves i seen a harley davidson today oh congratulations i, know, I got right? one at home <laughs> all right we are going inside of roscoe's to have wings date night oh uh, why do you gotta say it like that <laughs> all right Supper is done, we had wings. I had, uh, it was actually wing night because it is Wednesday today. So I ended up having, well, it was pretty much 10 wings because I had two left over that I just could not eat. So it ended up being one meal today, which I always like it when it kind of pans out that way, to be honest. Um, it's just when I always have a busy day, sometimes it just works out to only have the one meal a day. So and it was really nice to have supper with Jimmy because like I said, we have been so busy and you know, date nights are important, right? And spending time together is very important and we love each other's company. Um, it's really hard when we are, um, when we are hunting together and we're together so much and then we go back to work, we really miss each other. So um, we're the type, type of couple that actually really, really enjoy spending time together and we cannot wait till we both retire and we can just spend every day and every moment together because we do love each other's company. All right, so I am on my way home now, so I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right, we are back home. Jimmy has actually already gone to bed. It is seven o'clock now, and he always goes to bed early because he wakes up usually around like four or 4.30. So I just finished putting the groceries away. Like I said, I didn't get very much. It was mostly just like produce and bread, milk sort of things just to replenish everything for the week. And that is it for today's vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. See you guys tomorrow!